All right, guys, this is how you shuffle a deck of cards with a Benjamin Bulldog 357. Here we go. So today, me and, oh, you hear all those? Me and BB got this Bulldog 357 in the mail, and uh, this is made by Benjamin. It only comes in 357. It's called the Bulldog, and it's uh, a real popular gun right now, and the reason I know that is because I see a lot of them for sale in the Airgun Classifieds. BB-8. Don't worry, dude. I'm going to open it. He's just like, he hates talking in my videos, and uh, he tries to fall asleep every time yeah I know this guy should not have packed these pellets well the reason that uh, he was making that sound is because of these uh, slugs that he included so yep I'm pretty happy about that exactly you can't really scratch the bulldog or hurt it so uh, I'm not too worried about these pellets rolling around there it looks like uh, these are some Ooh. now these are expensive those right here are like the choice uh, slugs for your 357 so yeah yeah you can use pellets too uh, we're gonna use a lot of JSB 357 pellets but see if I can get the focus on there yeah this right here is an air jury slug and so we're gonna be using both it looks like you wanna see those? yeah they're nice okay so this guy gave me a scope too let me just uh, get this all out of the package real fast and then we'll get a better look at it One thing that I got with this one was this is a Pitbull moderator. Boom, I got a really cool silver scope with it too. Alright, so this guy must have tried uh, just about everything in his 357 air gun. Once again, I bought this off the air gun classifieds for $700. So these right here look like some slugs. These right here are also some slugs, but as you can see, they have kind of a pellet shape in the back. Now these, these look gnarly. I'm not really sure what they are, but... Uh, I would not want to get hit with one, that's for sure. Yeah, and that's just a regular slug. Yeah, these right here are your normal 357 JSB pellets, and that's uh, what I use. These cost about 20 bucks for a box like this. I know this gun is so long that I can barely get it in the frame here, so let's see. Yeah, so as you can see, this is an awesome gun. Now, it's not usually that long. It usually only goes to right here. And that's because we have a Pitbull suppressor system on here. That's right, BB-8. So there's two Pitbull suppressors that are available. One is $99 and one is $200. So this right here is a full-length rail. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to show you all this close up in a second. And uh, this guy gave me a really cool swing with it. I got this silver scope that I'll put on there he, that came with it too. And he actually was going to include a bipod, but he forgot to pack it. I don't care. Yeah. It's, exactly. See, me and BB, we have a ton of bipods already. And we don't even use them, so it's fine. Okay, so here's the bulldog starting from the back. Are you with us, BB-8? Okay. All right. So, uh, now the first thing I noticed was it has a cool skull right there. I don't know if the guy that I bought it from put that on there or if it comes that way looks like we have a 
a nanometer with sort of a tinted gauge right there. Whoa, now this is awesome. 357 Bulldog. Oh, this is like a single shot tray. Oh, wow. So, I have never seen a single shot tray that size before. So, you just drop your pellet in that uh, trench right there. You go like that and you're ready to rock and reel. So, I guess, yeah, I may have uh, inadvertently bought this from the Punisher. Let's hope not. Uh, let's see here. So, this is kind of cool. It's like simulated wood grain right there. Yeah, yeah, very nice. And uh, BB-8 wanted me to tell you about this sling right here, but these actually don't come with them. Yeah, that's a badass sling too. So, this is all uh, polymer right here. And this is just one big old gun. This is where you hold on right here. Yeah, and so, you're right. He wants me to show you the front of this suppressor here. Okay, now that is awesome right there. That's the hole that the uh, damage comes out of. So, yeah, oh yeah, and also, thanks BB. Also on the bottom, you got a rail right here. So that's cool too. So here's the bottom, and uh, yeah, BB-8 is saying that we do need to just go shoot this guy. But uh, I'm going to set this up real fast and uh, put my scope on it. And then uh, I think it's just going to be time to blow things up in a major way. Yeah, we're going to go outside and uh, make a real mess, aren't we? Yeah, bb is ready to go shoot right now. Relax, buddy. <laughs> we got to put the scope on first, okay? I know. So, uh, anyway, there's really not much to show you or talk about. Um, I actually didn't do my homework, so I don't know all the stats on this yet. All I know is that I... Yeah, all I know is that I wanted one, and I got one now. So, uh, let's go ahead and get on with this. You ready to go do some shooting, BB? What do you think we should blow up? Yeah, you're right. This is a lot bigger than a 177 or a 22 or even a 25. What do you think is going to be ha happen when we hit a soda can with this thing? Yeah, well, we're about to find out. You're just going to have to sit back there, buddy. So BBA was saying that I should show you the scope because it's so awesome. If you want to buy one of these later, uh, this is what it is. It's a Huntmaster Silver. There's the model number and all that stuff. I'm guessing this is going to sell for... Uh, yeah, I'm guessing this is going to sell for around 40, 50 bucks. Now, this is the awesome part that I wanted you guys to see. Yep, it's beautiful. Yeah, this would look really good on one of your crowd punchers. And those come in a silver color like this. Or any silver gun. Or, yep, or maybe you just want to contrast the gun that you got. So, uh, this is it right here. This is a Barska scope. I've had these Barska scopes before for around 40 or 50 bucks. I prefer the mill dot reticle. But I don't think this is a mill dot. But this is uh, exactly what my other Barska scope looked like. Except it was black. That's right, so you definitely want to put a riser mount on here so that your scope's going to be... Yeah, and then your scope's going to be high enough so that you don't have to tuck your head when you're trying to shoot. And I'll talk more about that later. So we're going to go ahead and get a riser mount on here real fast too and get this ready to rock. Yeah, of course I'm going to make sure that my eye relief is right where I want it. So once you check all that, tighten your stuff up. Yeah, actually... BB-8 and I are wondering where you even put the air in in here. So, uh, I better check the box for a fill probe or figure something out here. What do you think? Where do you put the air in this thing? You don't know. Okay. I better read the instructions. Yeah, I have no idea where to put the air in this thing. So, I did notice a few things when I was looking for it, though. Yeah, there's something weird going on back here. Not weird, but cool. So, um, my phone's actually broken right now, so I can't really even see what I'm filming. So, I'm going to save uh, the real review for a little later. Um, yeah, when I get my new phone in a couple days, and then I'll be able to see what I'm filming here. But 
Yeah, right now though, I cannot figure out where to get this thing aired up. Let's see here. Yeah, at least you know no one would be able to use your air gun when you're not around, because they wouldn't be able to figure out how to fill it up. Probably look at this all day and I'd never be able to figure it out, so... Yeah, I know. I'm going to go ahead and shoot these two pieces of tile with a Benjamin Bulldog. Now, this is only at uh, one right there, but I'm sure it's going to do some damage. Let's see. So, here's the safety on this gun. You just click it forward like that. Okay, that was sweet. Well, not not too loud either. Was that loud, dude? Oh yeah, not really, huh? It has a it has a suppressor on it. All right, so we finally found the fill nipple on this thing. It's right here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I totally could have figured that out. Not. Yeah, that just uses a normal one eighth quick disconnect and you just uh, pop it right onto the nipple right there so let's check this out all right now we're hooked on there thanks BB yeah he was just reminding me that I'm gonna fill this very slowly um, and keep an eye on this pressure gauge right here yeah let's just zoom in on it so I'm going to show you how slowly I'm going to fill this. I'm just barely going to turn my knob here until this starts to creep up there. I'll see the needle start to creep up. Sometimes you hear a little tink sound. There, there it was. So, Yeah, I hear that with most air guns. And so you can see the needle's just barely creeping up there. And remember which way you're going to turn your valve to close it. I've turned it the wrong way before. So, yeah. Got it. So right when you get to three there, you're good. I'm going to let the, let the air out right there. All right, so you can see there we got almost 3,000 PSI. We'll just start with that and go ahead and sight this in. That's right, BB-8. So don't ever fill your air gun past the recommended PSI amount because exactly I did that uh, and... It's either going to shoot your pellet too hard uh, or blow out your tank inside. So definitely don't do that. Just use the recommended fill and you'll be set. So I just got back from Walmart and I got these for $15. They're exactly what I need. Some high 30 millimeter rings. So now I can put this uh, AccuShot scope on here that I got with one of the guns I bought. And I'll be set. The other thing I got at Walmart for $12 and 69 cents or something like that. Now, AR-500 steel is the hardest steel that you can get, and this is what they shoot with rifles. Oh, I guess it's a 4-inch circle. So I think bouncing some slugs off that with a bulldog would be a lot of fun. This scope right here is made by AccuShot, and it's 4 to 16 power, 44 millimeter, mini SWAT mil dot model. So two things I would mention about getting a scope for a Benjamin Bulldog, I would get a mill dot reticle so that you can uh, have little notches and shoot at different distances more accurately. Also be sure not to tighten your scope rings too much because it'll just strip them out. They're not made to be tightened down very hard. And the other thing I want to say that if you want to get serious about getting your scope just right and doing some long distance shooting, go ahead and get yourself one of these. And this is basically just a bubble level that goes on your Weaver style scope rail. These are not expensive at all. Like under ten dollars for sure so that's going to allow you to get your gun perfectly level and then from there you can level your crosshairs one way to do level your crosshairs is get one of these get a stand like this this is a caldwell stinger about ninety nine dollars at sportsman warehouse and it's the best one you can get but anyway get a stand get yourself one of these bubble levels right here and put it on there and then you can actually line your crosshairs up vertically with the windowsill or horizontally for that matter and then you're going to be pretty close to being straight up and down but you can also if you really want to double check that you can go check it with a plumb bob outside later that's just one tip for putting on your scope 
Another thing these scope levels are really good for is taking long distance shots because you can make sure that your the cant on your rifle or the straight up and down is perfect before you squeeze the trigger on a 100 yard shot. So I'm going to start shooting this at 35 yards, then 50, and I'm just going to try to take a 100 yard shot like right away because I know it's going to hit a Pepsi can for sure at 100 yards like no problem. So I love this gun so far. Just handling it and everything, I have... Um, really grown to love it because it's lightweight really well balanced and uh it's just comfortable and cool and you know it looks funny but it's actually very ergonomic and feels really good the other thing that's causing me to fall in love with this gun is this uh, moderator system because when you pull the trigger on this it's like no recoil and then also it's super super quiet but then what you're shooting at is getting hit with a giant three or five seven slug at like 900 plus feet per second or something like that We'll find out exactly what, but yeah, I'm really loving this gun because I know I can walk out my front door right now, blow something up, and no one's going to hear me at all. Alright, I did not get a chance to shoot the Bulldogs today, but I did air it up a little bit, and I managed to make this really cool scope cam. Let's check it out. So, watch this. It's really clear when you zoom in, but uh, I've made a few scope cams, and this one came out really good, so we're going to get some scope cam footage. So every single one of these uh, cards has a hole in it, and they are definitely shuffled. That's uh, what a can looks like after you shoot it with a Benjamin uh, 357. It's a very, very powerful gun. You don't want to mess with the Benjamin Bulldog 357.